Waggy, a disappointing result. What's your assessment of the afternoon? Um, yeah, very disappointing. Um, knowing you're the kind of levels and standards we've set as a team, um, individually, collectively, just wasn't wasn't good enough for large parts of the game. Uh, start, I think we started the game relatively well. We had opportunities um, to score, and you've got to take them in games like this because you give them opportunities, they'll they play on it. As you can see, the game unfolded. You give them a, um, a way to kill time, delay the game, and it just it just bred a bit of uh, frustration. And yeah, it just wasn't wasn't good enough overall. It seemed like the goal came at a time when you were really on top and looking like you would score as well. Is that particularly frustrating? Yeah, I think that's what the kind of uh, most disappointing thing about it is because we're playing well. We, we weren't carving them open wide open. It was just we were, we were getting a foothold in the game, um, and then just a kind of two or thing, two or three things before that allowed them to to get up the pitch and obviously get the goal, which is a bit of a sucker punch. But we need to bounce back. We need to react. We've got enough quality. We've got enough experience on the pitch to to manage these situations, and I don't think. Overall, we've done that well enough. They'll look at it and say they defended well, but is the onus on you to break them down and find that route through? Yeah, 100%. We knew what we were going to be up against. Uh, we know what they're about. We've done we've done our homework on them. And, yeah, each and every one of them, um, we didn't do enough uh, for the full 90, 100 minutes, whatever it was, to, to win the game. So we've got to, we've got to look at it. Um, we've got to sit down, reassess it. And then, obviously, we've got some big games coming up. Um, we need to try and get away from the fact that, obviously, today is very disappointing. But we've been on a good run. We need to try and remember that and remember we're not any worse off as such. But it was, it was a big opportunity for us to know but we need to bounce back and um, finish the season, season well. Yeah, is it because of the fact there was an opportunity with other teams not playing as well? Is that adds, adds an extra level of disappointment to that? Yeah, I think you could probably look at you, it. You, you see the opportunities that are ahead of you and you think it's, a, it's, a, it's going to be an easy one. It's three points. It's just... But you need to turn up, you need to do the job and you need to finish the game, whether it's a one nil to us, whatever way it is, you just gotta find a way to win and yeah, today we'll fall short with that and we need to look at it and we need to have a look a hard, hard look a long hard look at ourselves and be ready for what's coming because no teams are gonna make it easy for us. Yes, it's still in our hands, but we've gotta we've gotta focus on the job. Yeah, as you said, form has been good up until today. How important is it that you bounce back from this on Good Friday going into a busy Easter period? Yeah, one hundred percent. I think we've got to use today's kind of motivation and, and, and the benchmark of like this is if we if we don't perform to the levels that we know we're capable of, every game is going to go the same way. So we need to realise it, use it, and hopefully you can bounce back from it on um, next week and get a, get a positive direction, a positive result going in the right direction. Six games to go and things are still in your hands. I'm guessing that's the main takeaway from you lot. Yeah, one hundred percent. We've still got the opportunities to kind of take the take the take it where we need to be. So. We need to refocus, need to regather, get together as a group and and, and bounce back to Pride Park and um, have, a, have a real positive performance on the front foot and, like you say, not give teams and clubs opportunities to kind of do what they want to do. So it's in our hands still, which is which is the most important thing. It's the way you want to be, but we know, we know we've got to be, we've got to be better.